What's up guys, Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be going through how to run Instagram ads. This is without a doubt the most valuable Instagram ads video on my channel. I'm excited, we've got a presentation on the Mac. We're gonna be going through the whole process, whether this is for yourself or for your clients. It's gonna be good, we're gonna get straight into it. But before we do, make sure you smash that like button for me. It's great for the algorithm and turn on your notification bell so you get notified every time we bring out new content. I'm gonna fire the Mac up and we're gonna get started. Okay, so diving straight in with this presentation, Instagram ads are without a doubt an integral part of any marketing strategy, whether this is for yourself and your own products or your clients as a marketing agency or even as an individual who wants to grow their Instagram profile and get followers and engagement. This is a great way you can run ads, but of course it's gonna spend you if you've got the capital to spend and there's a fantastic way for you to get ahead of other people who don't. We're gonna start off with some stats uh, because I think it's important to un for you to understand how big of an opportunity this is right now. There was a recent survey, young adults in the US and 73% of them said that Instagram is the best way for brands to reach them about new products or promotions. That's absolutely huge. If you're a clothing store or a company which is selling products which you can display visually, Instagram is the profile for you to get in front of people. There are 1 billion plus monthly active users on the platform, over 500 million daily Instagram store users, 850 million advertising reach potential. That is absolutely colossal. So it's up there with the greats, with Facebook, with YouTube, when it comes to advertising, with Snapchat for that instance as well. And uh, I've got some sources here at the bottom of here, but it's just an absolutely massive advertising potential. And Instagram has just as much in detail targeting options as Facebook. In fact, it uses the exact same advertising platform as Facebook. And we're gonna be going on to this in a moment. I'm gonna go on to the Facebook ads manager and show you how you can actually create Instagram ads. Now, first of all, I want to run through the actual types of Instagram ads that you can run, starting off with a story ad. So we've all seen Instagram stories. They come up at the top of our feed. You click on those and sometimes you'll see one that says sponsored up the top there. So you see this little bit of text here, sponsored. This is an example from Free who are running Instagram story ads. And these are really great short fire videos, maximum 15 seconds long, where you just want to get people to swipe up and take an action. Fantastic for retargeting, great for trying to get followers. And uh, yeah, just really good for getting people's attention and the best thing about Instagram story ads is you are literally getting in front of customers without them having the choice. They're already looking through their Instagram stories. They're looking through all their friends, right? And then all of a sudden, bang, your advert comes up, interrupts them, and it's your chance to get something bold in front of them, full screen on their phone and a short video. So we're gonna be going through, that's actually what I'm gonna be showing you later on in this video. I'll show you how you can create Instagram story ad videos online very, very easily and quickly. So that's what we're going to come back to. We've got collection ads as well. Collection ads similar to Facebook collection ads. You can have a multitude of images and you can show different products that you want to sell. For an e-commerce company, this is a very, very valuable advert and you can sell multiple products, show them from different angles or even show one product and just show them from different angles. So it's a, it's a really nice dynamic here uh, with collection ads. Really, really great looking ads. Just general photo and video ads. So these can be traffic ads or they can be conversion ads. So you can be trying to get someone to buy a product. But equally, if you're just trying to grow your page, you just want engagement, you could run a single photo or a video to an advert and get more engagement from it. At the same time, you can also just promote your posts. So these kind of go hand in hand. Promoted posts are often mistaken as Instagram adverts. They're not really Instagram ads. They're more, well, they are technically, but they're, they're more like the baby dumbed down version. There's a promote your post button at the bottom of every single post. If you go on your Instagram right now on your profile, click on your profile and uh, you've got to ensure that your profile is a business account. Okay, so you've got to have a business account on Instagram and you can hit promote and you can get your pictures out to as many people as you want to, okay, depending on how much money you want to spend. You'll probably reach between two and 5,000 people if you spend five to 10 pounds, depending on the audiences that you want to target. There are dumbed down targeting options on the Instagram promote, which doesn't make it as effective for people who are actually trying to sell products, but it is effective for people who just want some extra engagement on their posts, but don't want to do the nasty and buy likes, which you absolutely should not do on Instagram, by the way. By the way, if you are trying to grow your Instagram profile right now, I'll put a link somewhere around this video. There is a uh, Instagram, how to grow your Instagram account video that I released not too long ago. So make sure you go check that out at the end of this video. Don't skip out right now because it's bad for the algorithm and it will hurt this one. So 
What we're going to do now is we're going to go through the actual structure of the Facebook Business Manager. So Facebook, you run Instagram adverts on the back end, proper Instagram ads, through the Facebook Business Manager. And uh, I've already covered this in a previous video. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check out my Facebook ads training video. Again, there'll be a link somewhere around this video. Go watch that if you haven't watched it already and you don't know how to use the Facebook Ads Manager. Because I literally run you through from start to finish in about 25 minutes exactly how you can set up Facebook Business Manager, get to grips with it, because the only difference between running Facebook ads and running Instagram ads is understanding, number one, the creative, which we're going to be going through in this video, and number two, just ticking a box. That's all you need to do on your placements. And so I am going to show you that, but I'm going to presume you already know how to do that. If you don't know how to, go watch that Facebook video somewhere. But just recapping really quickly on the structure of the Facebook Ads Manager, okay? At the top here, we have your Business Manager, okay? Your Business Manager account is your overall account where you manage your ads, okay? This is where you manage your agency's advertising account or just your regular advertising account for your business. We then have your Ads Manager, okay? So inside Business Manager, you've got to think of this like a hierarchy. Business Manager is the umbrella. Inside that, we have the Ad Manager. This is the host of your ad accounts and where you manage them. So you'd have an ad account for each of your businesses or each of your clients and you'd manage all of them inside ad manager then we have your ad account where you manage your clients ads one ad account per client or one ad account per business the type of advert you are running which is ad campaigns so we have inside ad accounts we have our individual ads we have our ad campaigns which is the type of ads we're running whether it's a traffic ad so we're driving traffic from instagram onto um, from the ad onto our website or it could be an engagement ad we just want to get likes and comments and some vanity metrics on our posts we then have the ad set, which is what audience we're going to target. And then finally, we have the actual ad, what this is visually going to look like. This is what we're going to be focusing on in this video because I've already covered all the rest of this stuff in previous videos and again on that Facebook video, which I linked you to uh, previously. Um, but we are going to be going through exactly how you can create creatives for Instagram story ads and normal ads in this video. I've got a really great tool that I want to talk to you about. So this is a bit of a top down of what your ad account will actually look like whilst you start running ads. So if you're running them for your business, you're trying to sell products or for your clients, you're going to be running multiple ads, testing out multiple creatives, testing out multiple images, videos, testing out different audiences. And so you're going to have your business manager and ad manager always, you'll always have one of them. You'll have your ad account for every single client or business, and then you'll have a campaign for depending on what you might, might want to do. This one could be a vanity metric campaign, just trying to get some engagement. This one could be traffic and you're testing out two different audiences there and uh, two different ads inside each of them audiences. So what we're going to do now is we're going to dive straight into how you can actually create these adverts today and what different differentiates, can't get my words out, them from Facebook ads to Instagram ads. So let's go over to the Facebook business manager. What you need to do is go over to business.facebook.com. Again, if you haven't seen this before, go watch that video. It will teach you everything you need to know to set that up, but there's no point me going through that twice in two different videos. So you're going to click create new ad when you're actually signed up to the platform. Very, very easy to set up, by the way. Once you create an ad, you get to choose your marketing objective. Now, if you're doing an Instagram story advert, it's going to be a traffic advert or a conversion advert, okay? Because you're going to be trying to get people to swipe up, which means they're going to be visiting somewhere external from Instagram. You want to get them to make a purchase or you want to make them to visit your website or fill in your lead form, okay? So it's going to be a traffic or conversion advert. If it's just going to be a post, it's going to be an engagement advert because you're trying to get engagement on your post. Now, for the purpose of this, purpose of this, we're going to do a traffic advert. We'll set the budget to five a day. So I'd recommend you starting off any adverts on five a day and then scaling them up from there, depending on how well they convert. Click continue. You then get brought through to your ad set page where you get to choose your audiences, okay? So for example, just going over this really quickly, you can go on your detailed targeting. You could target people who are interested in cars, for example, if you've got a car page you're trying to grow and you could do cars. Right, again, we've covered this in the Facebook video, so make sure you go check that out. So we've got an interest. We've got 3.9 million people in this audience. And uh, from our £5 a day, we're estimating to reach 2.6 to 7.6 thousand people, 22 to 63 link clicks, which is great. But what we want to do to make sure this is an Instagram ad and not a Facebook ad is we go over to placements and we edit these placements. Now, it's a shame I can't. Can I zoom in? Yes, I can zoom in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit manual placements. And we're going to turn off everything apart from Instagram, okay? 
And what this is going to do is just make sure this advert is only running on Instagram. And in this instance, we're going to turn off Instagram feed as well. And we're going to turn off Instagram explore page. We only want this to be an Instagram story because that's what I'm going to be teaching you how to do in this video. But of course, if you want to do Instagram feed, you would just tick Instagram feed. Placements is literally just us choosing where we want Facebook to show our ads. And of course, Facebook own Instagram, hence why it is all on this platform. We then hit continue and we get to create our actual advert. And so what we need to do right now is we need to come up with a creative. We need to build an advert and we need to understand what works well on Instagram. And I'll, firstly, I wanna say thank you so much again to InVideo for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel again. They supported my Facebook video very kindly and again, they're supporting this Instagram. And it just so happens I happen to use this software myself very regularly for our clients. So it's a partnership that works. Now, InVideo is a free to use and there's a paid version as well, which is fantastic. I'm on the premium. Um, it's a free to use video editing software okay online video editing software and you can use it to create any kind of social videos in fact I'm gonna run through right now so the first thing you want to do is go over to invideo.io or click the link in the description you'll be able to sign up to a free trial and begin access to invideo straight away just gonna run you through this right now and how I'm gonna create this Instagram story ad uh, but we have three options here at the top we have the option to either choose a pre-made template and there are thousands and thousands of templates on invideo and I think they update like two to three hundred new templates every month month, which is crazy. I don't know how they get the time to do that. Um, there's also article to video. So you can paste a URL of an article and the AI system will create a promotional video or an advert from that article, which is cool. And then there's blank template. So you can create a video straight from a blank template. And obviously you can choose wide, vertical or square. So they already have the dimensions perfect for whatever social media platform you want to use. So we can search here for a different template. We'll do that in a second. We can choose a Facebook story. We can do YouTube story. We can do Instagram story. We can do Facebook newsfeed or Facebook posts. And there are tons of other ones on here as well. But we want to do Instagram story. And so we can start flicking through all all of the templates we have available for us um, for Instagram story ads. There are loads of categories as well. So we have an April calendar. So there is all the ads, all the templates that have come out in April. We have video ads, promotional ads. There's even a COVID-19 one. I was looking at this a moment ago. There's COVID-19 templates for businesses that need to do coronavirus-based adverts, which is, which is really, really smart. Um, so let's just go back onto InVideo and go onto Instagram story and let's see what we can find. Let's say that right now, um, let's just flick through these and see what, uh, what we've got. So if I go on any of these right now, if we go on mega sale on cars uh, and just have a look at this video, uh, we can watch this on, as again, we can do it prior, wide, vertical, or square. If we just play this, there's a little bit of music playing as well. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So it's flicking through images, it's getting up the, the text as well, and it's all animated, and uh, yeah, it just makes life so much easier when you're trying to create video content. So uh, let's make one right now. Let's see what we can find. So let's go on to, let's, uh, what are we going to do? We are going to do an ad for, let's do food and see what we can find. Get anything delivered and store now. Let's have a look at this. Use this template. And we're going to go on to the editor. Okay, so we are now in the editor. And if you've ever used any word processing or image editing before, you're going to recognize the majority of these controls. Uh, but I'll run through them now. It's really, really easy to use. It takes about 15 minutes to create a video in my experience. Um, so we've got our template here. First of all, we can preview this. We can hit the preview button. And I think this is just a simple photo and text. Yes, it is. Get anything delivered. Really, really simple for a uh, food delivery company, for example. If we want to change this media, though, we want to change anything about this, we go over to media in the top left here and we can use videos or images. Now, in video, have access to over a million royalty free stock images or videos, okay, which is crazy because if you've ever tried to buy stock images before, stock videos, they are extortionate, but you get them included in the premium account, which is like $20 a month or something, which is which is mental. And you can click a link in the description, by the way, use the code Jordan25 and you get 25% off to that monthly subscription, or you can sign up to a yearly subscription and you get 50% off. So no brainer if you need to get stock images or stock videos because that literally pays for itself. Um, so if we want to do this right now and we want to get something else, we can type in food here and we are literally brought up by loads and loads of different food ones. So let's just say we are doing, I don't know, we're doing a vegetable delivery or something like that. Okay, so let's get this video here and let's drag it on and we're going to replace it 
And we can crop this first of all. So we don't want to have the, well, how long is this? So it's, it's 13 seconds long, which is absolutely fine. As we've already covered, we don't want to have a, uh, a video which is more than 15 seconds long because it's not going to be suitable for Instagram um, stories. Just need to crop that now. So we need to hit edit video on the right hand side. So this is where we can actually edit individual elements. Hit, click crop frame. Can't get my words out. And click done. And it's now going to crop that. Now you notice the video is a little bit blurred at the moment. That's because it's not rendered right now. Once we render it, it's going to be nice and pixel perfect. And we will be able to preview it a bit more. If we want to, we can have an unrendered preview by clicking the preview button in the top uh, the bottom corner here. Uh, we'll keep these colors for now. But if we wanted to keep these colors on this text, all we need to do is click on this. We'd go on style or colors. We can change the fonts here. We can also change the box color. Okay, so we can flick this around and we can change the color of that box. Okay, but I'm just going to revert back. I'm going to click the back button on here, undo. And we're going to go back to our original color. Get anything delivered, install now. We could have swipe up instead. And if we want to, we can add music onto here on the left-hand side. We can add some more text, and all we need to do is just drag it over. We can add stickers. We can add effects. Now, stickers is actually really good, actually. I want to I point this out, because stickers, we've got various icons. But in Call to Action CTA, if we're doing an Instagram swipe up, we could have this instead, okay? So we could click this swipe up right now, and we can have this animation instead of this. So we can get rid of that. In fact, we'll do this. I think this is cleaner. We take this animation here. And we'll make that bigger. And there are absolutely loads of these, by the way. And if we hit preview, now this little animated swipe up will be there instead. Looks much, much cleaner in my opinion. We can then click on the logo and we can either get rid of that and add a new image. So we can go on media, images, and we can upload our own image. We don't have to do that. And so all we need to do for that is go uploads on the left-hand side and uh, click upload. And we'll be able to upload an image, a logo and change that. There's a logo here at the moment. Let's just ch let's ch let's change it to that logo. Let's go on that. Go on this. This is actually the same account that I used for uh, for my Facebook video. And so uh, yeah, we can use this right now. So let's go onto there. Made it a little bit bigger. And um, then we have a logo. Now, that being said, we probably want to change this color of this as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the color of this text. Now, one final thing to note, if you are a tech phobe, you're struggling with creating a video, you're stuck on anything at all. NVIDIA have really great customer support. They offer one-to-one -one calls with their customers and they can literally walk you through the entire process of whatever it is that you are trying to achieve from your video creation. So finally, what we need to do to actually render this is click the bottom corner here. We're going to hit this little button here. It's going to analyze the scene. This is great, by the way. I haven't highlighted this, but this is an AI tool in NVIDIA. When you render your videos, it tells you little things that you should change to make it more design friendly. So if your text isn't very visible, it will say, hey, you might want to put a background behind that. Or right now it's saying text box height. Regi reduce the box height. Okay. So now it's made the box height smaller because it then looks more design friendly, which it actually does. So that's really, really cool. So now all we need to do is actually export this. So we hit preview and export up the top and we're brought up with a final preview of our ad and we can hit export video here and we can actually download this video. So now we'll be taken to this page where we'll be able to see our videos being processed. It should take no longer than five minutes. We can also see all our old videos and we can edit them as well. But there is a pop-up here for the Facebook community. I'd recommend you joining the Facebook community, community of other people who are building videos as well, maybe for their clients or for themselves. But you can mingle with other people who are doing similar things to you. You can learn from them. You can teach them things, provide value back. And of course, there are training videos on the website as well. So if you go over to the help section, then you can watch a number of different training videos on InVideo if you get stuck with anything. So whilst we're doing that, our video has now been exported. We can hit the download button here and it's going to download it straight to the Mac. And then I'm going to go straight back over to Facebook Business Manager. So we're back on Business Manager. What we do is we scroll down, we go on add media, we go on add video. We're going to upload a video. We're going to go down to our downloads and we're going to go there and we're going to do that. And that is it, guys. Our video is now uploaded. We've got our vegetables going down. Get anything delivered. Swipe up. Okay. We've got our learn more on there as well. So we probably, in hindsight, didn't need to put the swipe up text there because... 
Facebook or Instagram already throw up that learn more. Um, but yeah, that is the advert complete. All we do is go over to www. and we put our website in here. So we need to make sure we have our website URL. This is where we want to drive traffic to if we're doing an Instagram story. You could, if you're trying to get followers, do www.instagram.com forward slash your handle. And that's how you can get people from an Instagram story ad right back onto your profile and then they can follow you. Follow you. So for example, this could just be a photo of you and then you can have some really nice animated text coming through saying, follow me for car content or follow me for marketing content or follow me for whatever reason, okay? Or follow me and I'll give you a coaching call, okay? You can bribe people for it. Um, and then have a swipe up, okay? Don't have that text there, okay? completely forgot about the, the, the learn more being added in the bottom. Um, so yeah, you can literally use this for a variety of different things. Of course, targeting wise, if you are trying to use Instagram story ads for people to follow you, it'd be better for you to use them and do international targeting uh, because uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot cheaper. If you're doing Western world targeting and it's very niche specific, be prepared to pay between 50, 50 cents and $1 per follower. If you're doing international and you've got the third world in there as well, you can pay anything as little as 5 to 15 cents per follower, okay? It's still going to cost you a little bit of money, but uh, you're not buying followers. They're genuine followers who are interested in your profile, and so it's a more authentic way to grow your account if you want to do that through Instagram stories. But by all means, if you're a business and you're trying to sell products, make sure you test as many creatives as possible. Obviously, if you're using the InVideo, you've got a ton of different templates you should you can use, so you can rustle up like five different creative videos within one or two hours, even if you just signed up to the service. So make sure you go check that out. Click the link in the description if you want to look at InVideo, you want to sign up to the service. Again, use the code JORDAN25 for 25% off. Thank you again to InVideo for sponsoring this video. And I hope you have got a ton of value from it, guys. If you have any questions about Instagram advertisement whatsoever, I respond to absolutely everybody. So drop them down underneath this video. Give me your questions anything about strategy or whatever. And uh, yeah, I'll make sure I get back to each and every one of you. And I hope you have enjoyed this. Please do share it with somebody else who will get value from it. If you're not subscribed already and you have enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time we bring out new videos. And I will see you all very, very soon. Cheers, guys.